I do a silk solo where I take my legs off and that will be my first um, performance in the air since losing my feet as well as my first performance without my prostheses. I'm Erin Ball, I'm from Kingston, Ontario, and I'm a circus artist. I knew that I wanted to be a circus artist about nine years ago. Um, I saw a Buskers Festival and there was a couple doing partner acrobatics. Um, the flyer was on top of the bass's arm in a handstand and I just thought it was the most amazing thing. My accident happened in March 2014. I was upset. I went for a walk in the woods. My feet got wet almost right away. I sat down for a while and when I went to get up, I couldn't feel my feet. I tried crawling out of the woods and that didn't work very well. I got lost. I have flashes of the first maybe day or two. I was unconscious when they found me. Six days later, my body temperature was 19 degrees Celsius. I was brought to the hospital by air ambulance and I stayed in the hospital until June, uh, June 2014 and that was when I had my lower legs amputated. After I lost my feet I thought my life was over, I thought I wouldn't be able to do circus anymore. I just, movement was such a big part of my life that I didn't see what was left. Something shifted and I'm not entirely sure what. I made a decision that I wanted to get out of the hospital and I wanted to live. And for me, living includes circus. When I got back into training, I guess some of the challenges were just figuring out how to do things in new ways and also just to work through the pain been really wonderful to work with a group of people and um, to have my situation be fully embraced. Um, I'm doing a piece with a stilts artist um, that's really showcasing my legs. Performing without the prostheses, um, it's really freeing and I feel like it's a unique creative avenue that's a bit unexplored at this point. I want to show people that after difficult situations happen or for anybody that's in my situation or in another situation and can't see past that or can't see a way out that there can be life after and it can be wonderful. <laughs>